Chapter 3.5 Action and Reaction Newton's Third Law 1. Paired Forces Experiment 3D is a series of experiment that shows action-reaction pair of forces. Let's take a look of the video. Place a piece of card on a thin layer of polystyrene beads. In the video, we can see with the polystyrene bands, then when the car tries to move forward, the car will produce a backward force on the car. And you can see why the car can move forward, because there is a friction acting on the car in the forward direction. In the second video, where there are two boys sitting on two trolleys, they will move closer whether there is only one boy or both boys are pulling. Because there is always two tensions acting on each of them, pulling them together. Now let's move on to two other examples. This is a fan cart. When the fan is switched on, air is blown in the forward direction. If the cart is let go, in which direction will the cart move? Now mount a sail in front of the fan cart. Why does the cart not move when the fan is switched on? Interesting, right? Without the sail, when the fan creates a force, on the air to push them to the right. The air produces a force on the fan to the left, so the car accelerates to the left. But when a sail is set up, the car no longer move. Why? Because when the air travels to the right, the air hit on the sail and produce a force to the right. Unfortunately, these two forces, the force on fan, and the force on sail are almost the same in size. So there's no more net force and the cart does not move. And now let's take a look of the water rocket video. Partially fill a water rocket with water and pump air into it. Pull the trigger to release the rocket. Observe what happens. So how does it work? Action reaction pair, right? So, can you explain it step by step? First, we have a water bracket. It then jets out water downward. That means there's force on water. At the same time, there is a force on the bracket. And this force, when it is larger than the weight of the bracket, it will then accelerate upwards. Experiment 3E makes use of two force sensors connected to the data locker to show that a pair of force is the same in magnitude but opposite in direction. Set up the apparatus as shown. Place two force sensors on trolley A and B. Start data logging. Give a sharp push to trolley A so that it collides with the stationary trolley B. Note and save the force time graphs obtained. Read the forces acting on both trolleys from the graphs. This time, we push both trolleys A and B so that they collide with each other. Note and save the force time graphs obtained. Read the forces acting on both trolleys from the graphs. Compare the magnitudes and the directions of the forces experienced by the two trolleys during collision. What do you find? Repeat each case with a harder push. How are the magnitudes of the forces experienced by the trolleys related to the speeds of the trolleys during collision?
Now we repeat both cases by adding a mass bar to double the mass of trolley A. How are the magnitudes of the forces experienced by the trolleys related to the masses of the trolleys during collision? The force time graph in this experiment shows that the forces are not constant, but the forces are always the same in magnitude, although they are opposite in directions. The Newton's third law says that for every action, there is an equal but opposite reaction. The two forces are the same in magnitude but opposite in direction, and they act on two different interacting bodies. So, for the launching rocket, the rocket jets out the gas, pushes it downwards. The gas, on the other hand, exerts a force on the rocket, pushes it upwards. When the upward push is larger than the weight of the rocket, the rocket will accelerate upwards. So F minus W equals M A. Lastly, note that the action and reaction are just two names given to a force pair. The two forces occur at the same time, and none is the cause of the other. Two action and reaction pairs. For the man sitting on a chair, weight is the gravitational attraction on the man by the Earth. The reaction should be the gravitational attraction. On the Earth, by the man. On the other hand, the normal reaction is the supporting force on him by the chair. Its reaction should be the push on the chair by the man. In other words, the normal reaction does not form a action-reaction pair with its weight. Action and reaction always have the same nature. Say both are pushes. Or both are gravitational attraction. Also note that action and reaction forces exert on different bodies, so they appear in different free body diagrams, and so they can never cancel each other. Example twelve shows an interesting application of the third law in sumo match. Note that the pushes by the wrestlers are the same in magnitude due to the third law. But usually, only one of them falls. So, who won't fall? It is the one who experiences the greatest friction. Example twelve is a review of the fan card experiment, and you can see from this diagram all the forces acting on the fan, acting on the air, and acting on the sail of the card. That's the end of the chapter. We'll do chapter seven on the next page.